<laughs> well, I'm back, and uh, that was definitely worth waiting up uh, till 3 a.m. Thankfully, I didn't have work uh, at 5 a.m. today, so, you know, I'm not going to be shattered for that. But anyway, yeah, I'm back. I'm going to be doing match reviews every game this season. I'm also doing transfer videos. Not going to do any gaming videos, anything like that. It's literally just going to be purely Manchester United or transfers. But anyway, on to the game. Manchester United versus Club America. Finish 1-1. There's not too much to say. Uh, there's some positives, a lot of negatives, but... Um, it's a game that was purely used for fitness, let's be honest. Uh, nothing too spectacular. Uh, standout performers, however, were definitely Eric Bailly. We've said that before. There's no need to say too much. We all know how good he can be. And uh, let's hope that he has a solid preseason and plays virtually every single game this season. Hopefully there's no injuries. Uh, Luke Shaw was another standout. Uh, you know, he's been talking a lot in the press, which is good. He's actually been... Sounding motivated, sounding like he's got a point to prove that he wants to prove this point, which is something different. They haven't really seen from Luke Shaw in the last uh, couple of years, uh, ever since you know his, his double leg break. But you know it's good to see, and he actually did prove something today. He proved his fitness. Like um, there was an article, I think it was the Mirror, who said that Luke Shaw had came out on top of the entire squad for fitness uh, tests at, before preseason and. Yeah, you, you can definitely see that. Like he was he was great this game and I hope he continues that because it doesn't look as though we're gonna sign a left back. I know we're linked with Alexandro, but uh I, I I don't know, like if we were gonna do that, surely we were, we would already have had it in place, but who knows? Uh, with three weeks left to the uh window. You never know, but you know, he's he's made a good first step and hopefully he can continue that. Other notable players, new signing Lee Grant, uh, not really expecting much because obviously he's a third choice goalkeeper, but he, he made some good saves. Kind of embarrassing because it was against Club America, but yeah, solid debut from him. It's really disappointing that uh, Dallo, our new right back signing, is out until September. It would have been really nice to see him in this tour. Uh, thankfully though, Fred, obviously the, the only one that you can really see getting into the lineup straight away against Leicester. Um, well, he's here next week alongside De Gea, alongside Matic and alongside Alexis, who's finally got his visa sorted uh, to come to America. So hopefully we'll see Alexis as soon as San Jose Earthquakes, our next game. But if not, it'll be Milan. And Milan is probably the game where we'll see Fred, De Gea and Matic as well. And all three are needed. The worst part about this performance, however, was definitely the midfield. Like, none of the three... Uh, Ander Herrera, Andros Pereira and Scott McTominay are likely to start. Well, maybe McTominay could, but nah, I don't think any of them will start, providing Fred's injured, uh, injured, fuck's sake, Fred isn't injured uh, for that first game against Leicester. Uh, but yeah, they lack creativity. Uh, they also exposed the defence. I know a lot of people are going to be blaming Smalling, and yes, he was at fault for the goal, uh, the terrible positioning, but... To be honest, uh, he wasn't helped by a lackluster midfield that just let Club America run through. Uh, also, positives, T.E. Chong, remember the name, definitely. This guy, you know, unreal potential. We don't really have a right wing in the squad. That is priority in the transfer window, definitely. Right wing, then centre back, then left back, and then maybe a backup striker. We're not going to get a centre mid now that Maro Anfellini signed a new contract. Mixed emotions on that one but you know if he didn't piss around the club with the contract and all that i'd have been happy to hear it prior but you know he signed it now so you know he's a united player for another two years so whatever you, you know you've got to back him um and he, he had a good world cup for uh belgium but anyway with tihi chong he created the cross for the goal uh, herrera hit the post from it and then it came out to matter he was playing as a striker that, at that point because Martial went off with a knock. So our front three, we are that threadbare in attack that our front three was left wing Luke Shaw, centre forward Juan Mata, and then Tahiti Chong out on the right. And uh, yeah, shortly after that, we did bring on some other youngsters, uh, Twan Tonzebe, uh, Fosu Mensa, who I'm really, really happy to see. He came on at half-time, actually, and he, he performed pretty well as well. He was one of the, the standouts. 
Uh, we also brought on Mason Greenwood, 16-year-old striker at our club. Very excited to see him. He only got a few minutes this game, but hopefully he'll get a few more against San Jose Earthquakes. We also brought on Angel Gomez. Uh, very happy to see him as well. And I believe that was it for youngsters. We brought on Matty O'Dormy in, but that's just for shop window purposes. Like The sooner he gets out of the club, the better. Daily Blinds obviously already left. So we probably will get a left back, whether that will be a first choice left back or someone who can compete with Shaw and Young uh, remains to be seen. The only better left back we can probably get at the minute is uh, Alexandro. Not in terms of quality, but in terms of who we can realistically get in the market. Uh, maybe Gulam for Napoli, but I haven't really heard a lot uh, for like two months about that. That was probably a fabricated rumour. But yeah, Alexandro seems the one that we potentially might get, but I don't know. Aldevail, the centre-back, obviously, that's who we really want. Um, and hopefully we get that done. But as I say, the main priority is right wing because we don't have an actual right wing in the, in the squad. We've just got players who can play there, but nowhere near their best position. So, yeah, 1-1. One, one, um, that's about it, really, to say this game was purely used for fitness. You could tell it. We've got one more of those, and then we start getting the big names in AC Milan, Liverpool, Real Madrid. On a side note... Fair play to Liverpool, despise the club, but you, you can't deny they have made big strides in this transfer market. But, saying that, now they've got a complete squad, you know, top uh, manager, surely they have to win something this season. It, it's been, what was it, 2006 now? I think they've won one League Cup since then, but I can't remember when that was, like 2009 or something. So they haven't won in a long, long time. They've been to a fair few finals, but they haven't won. So surely this season... Now they've got the goalkeeper they want, the defence they want, midfield they want, attack they want. Surely they've got to win something. But uh, yeah, on to United anyway. Uh, two, three days we've got San Jose Earthquakes. And uh, yeah, hopefully Alexis is going to be in that squad. But if not, he'll be in for AC Milan. So probably another fitness game anyway. We'll rotate, play a lot of youth. But uh, yeah, certainly against Leicester, we're going to need far better. We'll have a few players back, but not an entirely fit squad like sorry not the entire squad will not have Pogba will not have Lukaku etc so we are going to have to make do with a lot of the players we get unless we get signings so improvement definitely needed and uh yeah let's hope we get it